Bernice! Good morning, Bernice! How are you doing? So we've been letting our ducks and our chickens free range, but I know I mentioned uh, we had a rooster. Well, <laughs> he disappeared. I let him out of the fencing area first thing in the morning while I fed the other chickens. And, and then all of a sudden we noticed a huge dog just appeared out of nowhere and was like shaking the fence. And then we came, rushed down here and we chased the dog away and the dog took off. But ever since then, we don't know where our rooster went. Hector, the rooster. We only had him for maybe a couple weeks. I thought maybe he would come back, but he hasn't. So I'm assuming that the dog grabbed him. How's Bernice doing today? Good. I like when she squints her eyes. She squints her eyes? Hey. You know what I noticed? Ducks love mud, Penelope. I know. <laughs> they like to stick their face right in the mud and dirt and just like, <laughs> we just filled up the water this morning. Now the ducks have still have not discovered our creek. So that's why we're one of the reasons why we're letting them kind of free range and hopefully they'll discover it. I mean that's the first time we had a dog like like a big dog like that just come out of nowhere. So, I mean, it concerns me a little bit. We do have the chickens. <laughs> They're free ranging right now. We have some bell peppers growing. They're always late to the party. You know, you think the bell peppers, ah, oh, they're not growing this year. We're not, they're not doing good. And all of a sudden, bam, we have bell peppers. This is the row that we just planted. What are you making? Mud pies. I should have known. There, there can't be any rocks and mud pies or else they won't taste good. This time of year when we have all kinds of squashes and pumpkins just laying around, the weeds are overgrowing. This is my tea? Yeah. All right. Mm, that's very good. Oh my gosh, look at all these pumpkins. What are we gonna do with all these pumpkins? Is it pumpkin day today? It's pumpkin day today. It's all pumpkins and squashes. We have butternut squash and buttercup squash that we, we have to put it away. Yes, we have some pumpkins that are already going bad. Like this one feels kind of soft. Really, we use pumpkins in a lot of dishes, but what I'm looking forward to is pumpkin pie. <laughs> Well, some pumpkins I'm going to roast in the oven and then um, some of them I'm gonna chop, put in our food saver bags and leave them raw, but then we're just gonna freeze them. Those will be for soups or for cooking with. But the ones that I roast in the oven, I'm gonna puree them and then, and then measure out two cups and then put those in a food saver bag. You're just portioning it out so just, we could cook with. Yeah, like we could make a pie. I mean like pies actually don't take two cups of pumpkin. Do they take two cups of pumpkin? And these, we grew these sugar pie pumpkins. All right, so we gotta cut all these in half. Cut all of them in half and scoop out the seeds. We also need to put all these tomatoes away. And then um, just put everything in here. And then I'm going to chop up another one too. We got Penelope helping out. Well, so we're freezing these pumpkins. We don't can these pumpkins. Why don't we can these pumpkins? Um, you right. can can uh, pumpkin slices, but that's not something I'm comfortable with, so I'm right. just gonna freeze them. It yeah. just seems a whole lot easier. We're, yeah, I think that's the, I mean, the answer is we're not comfortable canning pumpkin. What's easier for us is if we just freeze it. Yeah. So I've got two pumpkins halved, and then I'm just going to put these into the oven. We have the temperature at 350. We're also chopping up some pumpkin. 
Uh, put it in a food saver bag. We put the date on it. That could be used for soup or just cooking with. And this is going in the freezer. All right, we have six bags. Some of these are butternut squash that we bagged up. And we didn't do all the pumpkins and squash. Uh, you know, it's a lot of work. We're, we're slowly, we're, we're putting stuff away. These are bubbling ready. And then you can tell if you can like stick a fork in it and it just slips right out. And the skin will just peel right off like, like that one. And then these are the last of today and we're gonna do the same thing. All right, now we're peeling the pumpkins. The skins will just slip right off and then I'm just going to mash them down into this uh, measuring cup. So we've got two cups of pumpkin. Too many pumpkins. Uh, these are some of the pumpkins that went bad on us or weren't that very good. So we feed them to our chickens and our ducks. All right, so um, a little background uh, for some of you new subscribers. You know, when we moved from the Southern California area to North Carolina, you know, we moved here not really knowing anybody. We had no family that lived here. So it's a, always a special time when family comes out and visits us. This week, I have my dad. He's already been here a few times already. My sister, first time my sister and her boys are coming to visit us. And we haven't seen them for about two years. So, so my plan is tonight, they're supposed to arrive tonight on the airplane. And so I'm gonna surprise them. We're gonna surprise them at the airport. So yeah, it's, a, it's always a special time uh, when family comes and visits. All right, they just texted us saying that they already landed. Early. Yeah, early. So I don't know if we're gonna get there on time at the airport. <laughs> so this surprise might not work out. Yeah. All right, we're here. <laughs> okay, we're surprising you guys. Yeah, right. Man, how you doing, man? I missed you. 